Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some lovely healthy oaty bars. Really delicious, no added sugar into them um, and they're really, really healthy. So I hope you enjoy them. If you look in the shop, um, oaty bars, if you look on the list of ingredients, you'll see a whole load of stuff in there. Half of it isn't even good, it's just absolute pure rubbish. So these homemade ones, you're getting lovely, healthy ingredients which you know what you're putting in there. So if you do like it, do give it a thumbs up and support the channel and make some comments. You know, just say that you like the video or it looks nice or just say hello and where you're from, whichever. I just love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That just gives you an, a little reminder of when the videos come out so you don't miss any. Because although I do a cooking video every Wednesday, I might add the odd video here and there of different things like meditation, days out. Um, so hit that notification icon bell and I look forward to doing videos for you. Enjoy. Right, so for our ingredients, we need some honey, we need some peanut butter, some coconut flakes, some porridge oats, pumpkin seeds, butter, chocolate chips, and sultanas. See, I have a mixture here of different types of nuts. So I'm going to put some of these in. I mean, you could do sunflower seeds um, and crushed nuts of some sort, whichever is your favourite nuts. Right, so as you can see, we've melted some butter into a pot. I'm just going to turn the gas off for a minute while I'm adding the ingredients. We want to get four tablespoons of honey. Now this is the healthy option. If you want to give yourself a bit of a treat, you could maybe do three honey and one syrup. It would still be healthy-ish. And just stir that in. Right, so now I'm going to add two tablespoons of the peanut butter. It's easier to do it with a proper tablespoon rather than the measuring spoons with this. It's just rough. It's, at this stage I'm going to put the heat back on to a nice low heat. Just give it a good mix and you can smell the peanut butter. It smells lovely. So now what you want to do is add your coconut. And this gives it a nice sweetness and it's very natural rather than having to add sugar. Add sultanas. Of course you can do raisins as an alternative. Pumpkin seeds. Look how nice that's looking. Lots of lovely colour to it. And I'm just going to do a small handful of nuts. I didn't actually weigh this out. I'm just, just a small bit. And then we're going to add our porridge oats. And you just basically give this a good mix, making sure all the porridge oats gets covered with the butter and the honey and syrup. You know when it's coated all nicely because the colour changes to that lovely golden colour. And it's quite stiff when you're trying to mix it all together. But that's okay, it's all the sticky, the honey and the peanut butter. But that's what it's meant to do, it's meant to all stick together. And you literally just cook this till it's all mixed. You don't have to cook it for very long. Literally a few minutes. Right. Now, if you want to add your chocolate chips, you can either add it in while it's still warm and it just means that it'll be melted a little bit or you can let it cool a little bit before you add the chocolate chips. I'm just adding it straight away. So it just means you've got that chocolate melting inside the mixture and it's just gorgeous. If you want actual chunks of chocolate chip, just let the mixture cool a bit before you add them. Right. So half this mixture would be w enough for one loaf tin. So we're just going to split this into two. These are so healthy and very simple to make. Right, so what we're going to do is with half that mixture, we're going to put it into our loaf tin. Now I, I've got one of these, you can just use normal grease proof paper but I like the ones that you, it's just kind of ready made for a loaf tin, just makes it easier. 
you can buy them in any supermarket and then what you want to do is push the mixture down because it's got to be quite dense so give it a real good push down and spread it out so this will be roughly about an inch thick you don't want it too thick you see you put the whole mixture it would be very very tall so this this is about right about an inch and just squash it down now when you do this you could you could have one like this and just put it in the fridge ready to cook the following day and then one you can cook in the oven straight away so this will last you a good two or three days I'm just going to put this in the oven and I'll show you afterwards what we're going to do then. So as you can see, because we've put this greaseproof paper in, you literally just lift it out and I've let this cool for an hour. You can even let it cool for a bit longer if you like and then it stays solid. And then you can either cut it into squares or long bits like this, whichever you prefer. I quite like the long bits, so they look like actual bars you would buy in the shop, but not much nicer of course. So you could have it like this if you wanted. As you can see, this is really, really nice as they are, or we can decorate it with some chocolate. So over here we can, you can see I've got a pot with hot water in it and it's on a low heat and I put a bowl inside the pot and the chocolate will melt in that bain marie. And once that's all melted that's what we're going to use to put on our oaty biscuits. So I'm going to take some of this melted chocolate and I'm simply just going to pour this over. Now I want it nice and thick. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all smooth. If it runs down the side, that's okay too. But lovely big thick bits of chocolate. In fact, I think with bumpy bits on it looks really nice. After tasting these, you won't want to be buying shop ones after this. Cover it all over if you wanted to. Now what you want to do is let this cool down let the chocolate harden so I know it's tempting to try and eat it straight away but actually try and wait at least about an hour and um, or however long it takes for the chocolate to harden and then you can get stuck into it so I'll show you when they harden right as you can see here I've done three different types one is the plain with no chocolate on it this one has just got a bit of chocolate on the top and this one I've covered with chocolate all the way around so it's like a bar like you would buy in the shop filled with delicious oat filling so I'm going to cut this in half so you can see what it's actually like so that's your own oat bar nice and healthy nice thick layer of chocolate on the top coated on the outside too so I'm just going to try some of this and see how it is mm. really nice definitely try this so good look forward to doing more videos for you
Thank you for watching today's video on how to make lovely healthy oaty bars. They're really delicious so I hope you do try them and I'll talk to you again soon.